The empty streets of the capital were suddenly engulfed by a flash of bright light. Silhouettes materialized all around us. An Eternium ambush. My heart sank when I recognized her. Luxana appeared before us, leading the enemy. Glancing at the boy, I realized that he was equally shocked by this turn of events. She accused us of being unable to see the light in her actions and said that the Kamloops' fate was now taken care of. And since we refused to surrender to Eternium, she would have no choice but to deal with us herself. Luxana unleashed a powerful Nova. I instinctively lunged forward and wrapped my wings around the boy. I refused to let another pupil down. A fitting end for the last night hour. It was the other celestial gods who saved us from being reduced to cinders. But in my case, the damage was already done. Up against four divinities, Luxana was forced to retreat. She claimed that she had delayed us long enough and vanished. Incapacitated by her powerful attack, Firas, Shin, and Orlog were in no condition to keep going. From their investigation, only one place could host Eternium's base. It was up to Nox and him alone to free the Kamloops and face Luxana. And to do it, he would have to venture into the unknown depths, a place whence none ever returned. couldn't leave a fool like you on his own, so I asked Lady Ferris to link our minds using her fireflies. I might still be able to assist you somehow. This is the giant's mouth. No one truly knows how deep it goes because, well, I humbly suggest that you stay away from the walls.
darkness grows thicker with every step you take. But nothing to slow down the shadow trickster, eh? Eternium sure wanted their headquarters to remain secret. to have reached the bottom in one piece. There's still hope for your people, but you need to press on. The boy wandered through the endless corridors for what seemed like hours. Alone in the darkness, most people would have lost their minds, but it didn't faze him one bit. Then, to my great surprise, the cavern came alive. The cold rock quickly gave way to a lush flora. Even after so many years, Numbra never ceased to amaze me. It's hard to believe that this lush oasis had existed for who knows how many years. We are discovering a secret world right under Numbra. Seems that Eternium has its dirty hands all over the... No respect for... Hold on. Those draining pipes. Everywhere in the Temple of Midland. Eternium replicate his ability? Prevent you from using your shadow core. Troublesome.
draining energy. What is it turning him up to? Following enemy base. Boy, hear me? The closer the boy got to Eternium's fortress, deep underground, the weaker the link uniting us became. I could still see through his eyes, but my words seemed unable to reach him. The situation looked grim for the Kamloops, but if there was one person who could save them, it was Knox.
after everything Knox had endured to reunite with his friend, their reunion was bittersweet. Luxana had been deceived all along, and now that she had played her part, Eternium was set on doing away with her. Their plan had been set in motion years ago. They wanted to find a way to recreate the divine artifacts and turn them into weapons for their own benefit. To do so required one of the divinities on their side, and Luxana was their best chance. Since the Kamloops' arrival in Numbra, Luxana had been left out, shunned even. The people blamed her for not being able to bring light to their new homeland. A goddess of light, powerless in a land shrouded in darkness? Hmm. A spy living among the Kamloops approached her with an offer. Eternium could bring light to Numbra, if she agreed to do as she was asked. Desperate to win back the trust of her people, she accepted and was led to believe that her actions would help the Kamloops prosper. Laudable intentions that led to a disastrous end. Before she collapsed, she urged Knox to pursue Eternium's leader through the portal. He was on his way to the Celestial Palace to get rid of the Divinity's spiritual bodies. The boy jumped straight into the portal, and from that point on, I could feel a cold and terrible darkness enveloping him. about Nox and the Kamloops, the divinities and I rushed to Numbra's core, deep into the abyss of the unknown depths. Luxana and Nox were both alive and well, 
but the same couldn't be said for the Kamloops. While we were carrying their lifeless forms back to the surface, Luxana suddenly stepped forward. Without a word, she shattered her inner light, abandoning what made her a goddess. A thousand stars danced down from the sky, finding a new home in the hearts of the deceased. As the Kamloops rose from the shadow of death, she fell to her knees, her light entirely consumed. I will never forget. A day to be remembered forever. A day that would become known as Lightfall. To thank me for my role in these events, the Kamloops invited me to live among them in Sylvian. Although I politely declined their generous offer, I promised I would visit the boy from time to time. This quest made me realize that Numbra may still be in need of silent protectors. Who knows what other tragedy could befall our homeland? We couldn't always rely on a playful child. As such, I decided to rebuild the order. And this time around, anyone willing to put their life on the line to protect Numbra would be welcomed with open arms. If new enemies arise, we will show them that we have more than a few tricks up our sleeves. After all, I learned from the best. 